This Final Cut Pro 10 Tour presentation is brought to you by the LumaForge Share Station, the world's best storage for Final Cut 10. For more information on how the Share Station can improve your workflow, head on over to LumaForge.com. I'm glad Philip and Greg are here to, to talk about this product, Lumberjack, because we have all heard it, and we know lots of people are using it, but actually we wanted to, to show a real life showcase of how Lumberjack is used and how it can really improve your workflow. So Philip, go ahead. Thank you. Um, Lumberjack is a real time keywording and pre-editing tool for Final Cut Pro 10. Um, keywording is a fancy way of Final Cut 10 way of saying logging and Lumberjack is a logger, so there's the name connection. It was created out of a need that I had, like all good software, it comes out of a personal need. And what we do is we allow you to log on the set during the shoot and use that material to line up by time of day with the media files, so also by time of day. So there's no complicated time code involved. There's nothing really complex at all. It's very simple. In fact, I'd like to show you just how complicated it is to log with Final Cut, with Lumberjack. Um, and it's, it is a complicated system. There is a web application, there is an iOS application, and there are three desktop applications, all included in the $10 a month subscription fee. Um, this is an example of some, uh, a series of interviews that are singer stories. Uh, singing school ha got their students to start to provide testimonials for the school, for the singing teacher. And we recorded a bunch of interviews and it's as complicated as this. I, at the start of each interview, I hit the button for the person's name and then I go into the topics that we've got selected and as they start to talk about each topic, I hit the button on for the topic, and at the end of that topic, I hit the button back off. We, of course, can click overlapping keyword ranges. The, the time between when I click that on to when I click that off will become a keyword range in Final Cut Pro 10. It's, it's that simple. If you can turn a light on and off, you can log with Lumberjack. Although I think, I think, Morton, <laughs> I think Morton made a very good point that the, better, the more that somebody on the person doing the logging understands the, the purpose and the way it's going to be used, then the better the logging will be. And so um, it's interesting that they suggested that it would be an, an assistant editor on set because that's exactly what Serena has been pushing us to, to push, in fact. So once we finish with this, we ingest the media into Final Cut Pro 10, the same as you would normally. Uh, you can make multicams, you can work with multicams. In fact, we prefer to work with multicams. There was a period when Lumberjack only worked with multicam clips, but then we decided that maybe that was a little limiting. Um, it's important in Final Cut, and this is a series of three different interviews over um, the one afternoon. And what we, what we have is two cameras for each, um, interview and it is important in Final Cut Pro 10 if you're going to make multicams these are synchronized by audio that you add an angle but the nice thing is you can simply say that's all angle one and applying it once to every clip in that angle will will do that for you so that you don't have to um, go through find the clips that go together to make up each multicam clip we and in fact because of Lumberjack we can make one multicam clip for this hour and a half shoot and in fact, that's what we have here, is a single, very long multicam. Uh, Final Cut will be hap happy to do this. It puts gaps in between. The longest multicam I've made is a five and a half hour cooking shoot, um, with two hours of gap in the middle while it actually cooked. I probably should have done that as two multicams, but it worked as one. And I only learnt that because I thought, Will this work? What will happen? After I'd done it the hard way, I thought, what would happen if I just threw all this at Final Cut and said, make me multicam? And I was pleasantly surprised that 12 minutes later, I had a multicam of the entire shoot. Um, the workflow, so these are three interviews, two cameras with time in between. And this is, I'm sure, everybody who's produced any sort of documentary, any sort of corporate has done a series of interviews in the one time and place. And doing one multicam clip makes it so much faster. Um, this is the Lumberyard application, it's the, it, uh, and it's called Lumberyard, of course, because the Lumberyard is where logs get processed. It, all we do here is we import the XML and select the event from the pop-up list. There are two ways that Lumberyard can be used, and I'm going to, the first way is simply to do the first pass logging from the, from the shoot, and 
Fortunately, like every good chef, I prepared one earlier. I actually prepared it earlier because the, the slowest part of this entire process is importing the, the results back into Final Cut Pro. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute to do the work in, in Lumberyard. Simply import the XML, choose the event, choose these options here, and then send it back to Final Cut Pro. The options that are important are that we can select each person's keywords and each other keyword. And the reason we do that is because this gives us string outs of the selects. Of course, we're making selects with keyword ranges. And we can also add a lower third title for each person. So once we send this back to Final Cut Pro, we get <coughs> distractions. <laughs> We get this, and so here's our logged multicam, and there's Vanessa's keyword key ra range, and of course we start before the picture, um, and the keywords are related to each of the answers, just shown by clicking it on, clicking it off. This has come through to here, and that's that's it. And of course, what we've got is also, um, you know, there's the next person, and there and there. Uh, interview and f finally we have the third person and their interview so we've got immediately we've got a string out for each person here there's Kim her string out Laura string out and Vanessa string out instead of having to create multicam clips for each of those interviews I've got them automatically so I've made one multicam clip I've sent it to Lumbiard I've come back and I've got a separate string out for each of the interviews that's just it's just that interview. There's nothing fancy. But you'll notice that uh, we do use that logging information. If you've taken the time to, input, uh, to log the name, then we will use that. Metadata that you've created is never, should never be lost and it should always be used. So if you log the person that's on camera, when you come to do a string out, that person's name appears in a simple lower third. And of course, you'll be aware that you can just drag a new uh, motion template onto that to make it uh, a more fancy graphic if that's what you want to use. That's great, and if that's all we did, I think that's a, a huge benefit, but uh, we have everything logged in the multicam, we have each of the interviews by themselves, but we also have a whole series of keyword, uh, keyword string outs, and this is what I generated just by clicking this checkbox here, I generated a string out for each keyword. And so let me show you the, the benefits keyword, and we have the three interviews, this is where she talked about the benefits, this is where she talked about the benefits, and this is where she talked about the benefits. So we have this starting point of each of the key points that uh, were in the interviews in the string out, so that now we can say, why did you choose April, uh, the singing teacher? And we have everybody's answers um, to that in this, this string out. Uh, not everybody answered that question, so we only have two people in that string out. Um, and that would be great. I think that, even if that's all we did, I think that's a fabulous amount of, of benefit. But not every shoot happens over one day. So I'm just going to bring this library back into, uh, that event back into this library. And there's another mode. That's the basic keywording mode in, fin in Lumberyard, Lumber Lumberjack, <laughs> sorry. Um, but not every shoot happens over one day. Uh, so. This, in fact, there are th two other interviews that we'd like to include, and uh, so I can select the logged events and send that. So we just simply export XML from those events. When we come into Lumberyard, when we choose that XML, Lumberyard will see that this has already been logged and use those logged r ranges in the, in the, in the, from Final Cut Pro 10 in the XML. That means that you can correct logs you can add additional logging in Final Cut Pro 10 and bring that back into, um, into the, the story mode. So this has become into story mode and the pop-up pop would be inactive at this point. When we send that back to, to Final Cut Pro 10, it takes about four and a half minutes to import the result of that. It takes 30 seconds or less to make those string outs and it takes about four or five minutes to import them back into Final Cut Pro 10. And we now have those string outs here. Um, again, all of the people, all of the raw footage has been logged and all of the interviews have been logged. So there's my interview, um, there's 
songwriting Shane's interview, these were not included in the original one day shoot. These had been done beforehand as single shoots. Uh, but now we have the, the keywords from everybody. So we have the keywords for performing, uh, uh, singing future, singing goals. And again, every time, the first time somebody comes on camera, we put the lower third in. This of course means that the, that the editor is completely absolved of all blame for any typographical errors because now it's the person doing the logging that made the mistake. Like we could get that. <laughs> uh, and that's really, that's really this, you know, this is the basic keywording and story building functions within, fin within Lumberjack. Um, it's a great enhancement for Final Cut Pro 10. Lumberjack has a lot more features than the, this two we mentioned. We have a transcript mode where you can take, if you have transcripts, you can bring them into Lumberyard and apply a whole bunch of, uh, whole, all of the transcripts for a, for a um, collection of clips at once. The, the speaker's name goes into the keyword range. Uh, the content of that goes into the notes <coughs> field in, in Final Cut Pro 10. And if you have transcripts, we will pull out keywords magically. We have magic keywords so that you'll get the, the most important points from your transcripts as keyword ranges in addition to getting the transcript into Final Cut Pro 10. And there are other apps in the system. You can log back, uh, log existing footage so you don't have, uh, if you haven't logged it real time, you can use our backlog or our desktop application to log footage that's been shot, archival footage, footage that were from libraries, footage from other projects. That's not a real-time logger. You can fast forward, you can rewind, you can go over that. I did at, at NAB two years ago argue vehemently that we could not do that. It took us nine months before we could do that. So the impossible just takes a little bit longer. And in, uh, after NAB this year, um, we introduced another application called NoteLogger. If you want to take a little bit more information just a than just a keyword range, you can use another desktop app called NoteLogger and log the keyword range for sure, but you can also add a note to the keyword range, which will go into the notes field of the keyword inside Final Cut Pro 10. And thanks to the magic of uh, OS 10 development, you can, you can use speech to transcribe into those uh, text fields uh, if you're in an environment where you can speak. So that, that's my brief demonstration of Lumberjack. Um, I'm happy, I'd love to give you all a free month. All you need to do is go to lumberjacksystem.com com slash sign up and create an account for yourself, email me, grab my card or a pouch from in, in the room and I'll happily set up a month's trial for you so that you can see how it will work for yourself. But real-time keywording, story building, starting points so that we really, our whole point is to get something ready for the editor to do their magic. Um, instead of spending all of your time organising getting to get started, you can actually do the work that you're being paid to do, which is to edit and to polish the project into into something f f um, fabulous. And so real-time keywording, story building mode, transcript mode, and magic keywords. And that's Lumberjack for just $9.99 a month. Thank you.